Chapter 1. The Arrival of a Mysterious Figure Somewhere on the planet Earth, a Saiyan space pod pierces the sky, closing in on its target. Meanwhile, Krillin is enjoying a peaceful day of fishing. Little does he know, peace is about to be shattered. What a perfect day to fish, nice and peaceful, he says. But suddenly, Krillin feels a disturbance. Wait, what was that? This can't be happening. This is bad, really bad. Someone's arrived and he's not ordinary. Inside the pod, a mysterious figure contemplates the journey. It's been a long journey, but I've made it. This warrior's eyes are set on Earth, and he's determined to uncover the truth. Let's see if this planet holds the answers I need. Elsewhere, Piccolo is deep in training, surrounded by nature's silence pushes himself to new limits, sensing his own growth. Every day, I grow stronger. I can sense it. With this rate of progress, no one will stand in my way. But Piccolo's concentration is broken by an ominous presence. No way. Someone's here, and his energy is monstrous. What's he doing on this planet? With a sense of purpose, Piccolo stands tall, ready to face the new threat. Finally, a real challenge. I was getting bored. Time to see what I'm made of. Back in the skies, the pod is about to land, and the mysterious figure inside it mutters with anger. They will pay for what was taken from me, from us. On the ground, an old man stares up at the descending pod, his eyes wide with disbelief. What in the world is that? Is this a UFO? He scrambles to his feet, shouting in excitement. The Americans weren't lying. UFOs are real. Aliens exist. My family won't believe this. Krillin, flying at top speed, finally arrives at Piccolo's side. It's been a while, Piccolo. How have you been? Piccolo, however, isn't in the mood for small talk. Let's skip the pleasantries. We've got a serious situation to handle. As the tension builds, Piccolo makes it clear what's at stake. In the absence of Goku and Vegeta, we're the last line of defense. Krillin, feeling the weight of responsibility, nods in agreement. I'm ready. We'll handle this together. Suddenly, the pod crashes into the earth, sending shockwaves through the ground. A huge crater forms, and the mysterious figure steps out. Finally, I'm out. He looks around, scanning the area. Time to see what this place has to offer. With a cold gaze, the figure mutters to himself, No sign of the fake Saiyans here. If this world proves useless, it will face destruction after I deal with its ruler. High above, Piccolo and Krillin arrive at the scene. Piccolo looks down at the massive crater, tension rising. We're at the location. Now let's see what we're dealing with. Krillin echoes his determination. All right, let's see what's going on. They spot the intruder below, and the tension escalates. There he is. Piccolo and Krillin descend to confront the new arrival. Was I imagining things? This power feels off compared to before. Piccolo lands, resolute. Let's go, Krillin. Keep your senses sharp. Krillin follows, landing beside him, ready for battle. Piccolo confronts the intruder, demanding answers. We finally found you. You've got some serious guts landing here like that. Who are you, and what do you want on this planet? The mysterious figure remains unfazed. Who I am is irrelevant to you, but since you're so eager to know, I'm here searching for something, and nothing will stop me. Krillin steps forward, defiant. You think you can just come here and do as you please? We've dealt with threats before, and we're not about to let you harm this world. The mysterious figure's thoughts betray his disappointment. I hope there's more to this planet than these two. Then he says, Tell me, who is the king of this planet? Surely it isn't either of you. Piccolo's patience wears thin as he dismisses the question. King, what does that matter? We're not letting you get any further. If you're here for trouble, you'll have to go through us first. Meanwhile, Krillin feels a surge of confidence standing next to Piccolo. We've got the upper hand in this situation. The 
intruder's arrogance shines through. You're in no position to stop me. I've seen far greater warriors fall before me. If this is the best your planet has to offer, I'm unimpressed. Piccolo accepts the challenge. If you want to fight, you'll get one. The mysterious figure responds with a cold smile. A fight? Very well, I'll humor you. But if you're the strongest this planet has, I can already tell your king will be no match for me. Krillin steps up, driven by his pride as a human. Piccolo, I need to fight this guy. It's important to me that I prove a human can defend Earth, not just Goku or you. Piccolo gives him a stern look. You're sure about this? This isn't about pride, it's about survival. Krillin's determination is unshakable. You can trust me to take care of this. If you and Goku aren't here, I need to show that the planet is still protected. Piccolo understands, nodding. I get it, Krillin. But don't push yourself too hard. Just remember, we're all in this together. Thank you. As Krillin warms up, his confidence grows. No need to worry. I've been working hard. You'll see how much stronger I've become. The mysterious figure remains unfazed, taunting him. Well, are you gonna fight or just stand there? You're in too much of a hurry to lose. I'm warmed up and ready to go. For you, 0.04% will be enough. I don't understand what you're saying, but you'd better be prepared. I'm coming at you. As Krillin charges in at high speed, the mysterious figure coolly observes. Let's see if you can even touch me. Krillin throws a punch, shouting, You asked for it, now face me. But the mysterious figure vanishes in a blur of speed, his thoughts dripping with disdain. Pathetic. Far too slow. Krillin's punch hits nothing but air. Confused, he shouts, What? He was right here a second ago. Where did he go? Piccolo urgently points, shouting, Watch out, Krillin. He's behind you. Krillin in shock, unable to believe the speed of his opponent. I couldn't even sense him move. This speed, it's terrifying. The mysterious figure smirks, ready to strike. Get ready, because now it's my turn to strike. Before Krillin can react, the punch lands with crushing force, sending him flying. Ah! Too strong. That power. It's overwhelming. How can I counter this? Krillin crashes to the ground, dazed and struggling to understand. I'm getting tossed around like I'm nothing. With a serious tone, Piccolo asks, Krillin, are you alright? Can you stand? Krillin struggles with the realization. That punch. He wasn't even trying to hurt me. Is he toying with me? grits his teeth and says, I'm fine, Piccolo. I'm not out of this yet. The mysterious figure observes with a cold smile. So, you think you can take on a Saiyan? How amusing. Krillin's eyes widen in disbelief. What? You're not a Saiyan. Saiyans don't look like you. Piccolo adds, We've seen real Saiyans. What are you talking about? The mysterious figure freezes, caught off guard by their knowledge, his shock evident. So you know about science. The fakes from planet Sadala are here, aren't they? Tell me where they are right now. Piccolo's expression shifts from confusion to shock as he pieces it together. Hold on. Could it be he's actually a scion? I want to express my gratitude to our Patreon members. And because of you, I'm able to continue bringing this story to life. And if you're interested in reading the comic, be sure to check out my Patreon in the description below. You can also stay updated by following me on Instagram. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you all for watching, and until next time, take care.